Let's see how to pair a DualSense controller, a PlayStation 5 controller with Steam Deck. Well, this is very simple. You have to press these two buttons, the PlayStation button and the share button. Press and hold them and in, in the same time until you see this blue LED flashing here. Now it's in pairing mode. Go on your Steam Deck at uh, general settings and here in, uh, in Bluetooth and you will see the wireless controller here. Click on it and it's connected. You can use it with your Steam Deck in any game. The Steam Deck will apply automatically the layer for it. Here in controller, you have additional settings for it. Just select here uh, uh, on the screen, the controller right here in the, in the right. Click on it and you have your controller. You have options for it. Go here, open advanced and you have this uh, uh, calibration for the joystick. You have sensors and you have uh, additional uh, settings. So this is it uh, for haptic settings. You have only only this rumble, which is uh, the vibration for it. You don't have adaptive triggers. So if you want to use ad adaptive triggers um, from your PlayStation 5 controller here, it's impossible. It doesn't work. It seems that adaptive triggers are only available if you connect the, the gamepad to your PlayStation 5. It doesn't work otherwise, not in Google Stadia, not uh, anywhere. Uh, let's uh, let's try here the gamepad as you see it's working perfectly basically this is it after you pair it with your steam deck either this controller or any other bluetooth controller you uh, you can use them uh, all those uh, bluetooth controllers you can use them in your favorite games as i said when you start the game uh, the proton uh, os will apply that um, settings layer uh, template and it will recognize automatically the gamepad via bluetooth so you won't have any problems uh, with them so this is it it's working very nice but you don't have uh, adaptive triggers this is it not in the game you cannot activate them not in the general settings